Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Dicey Dungeons Jester. Not just a jester. Losers weepers. Let's do not just a jester. A straightforward adventure for a straightforward warrior, but you're a jester, so, uh, rules, standard rules. Rules, standard rules. What? <laughs> what? Oh, it's you again. How's the despair going? What about the sickening waves of regret? Mm, pretty much under control, to be honest. You know, this is going to end terribly. I was already trapped for eternity. This is ending terribly. Or that is ending, that is ending terribly. Well, next time around, you won't have a cushy job in the introductions and razzle-dazzle department. You'll be down on level one, hanging out with the frog and the unbearable space guy all day, every day. You know what they say, a change is as good as a holiday. Well, you should enjoy this change I'm going... I'm making... Oh, well, you should enjoy this change I'm making to the rules, then. In you go. Hey, I was really expecting there to be a frog and a space guy. <laughs> Let's be honest. Okay, so it's it's standard rules, whatever that means. So we just play a run as the jester? Combat roll sword. Oh, we're not a jester. We're the warrior. We get a combat roll and a sword. Interesting. Luckily the slime couldn't do anything. Okay, I mean, it doesn't get any better than a six. So we just play a run as the warrior, but as the jester. I'll be honest, that sounds pretty easy. I don't understand what the difference is yet, but we'll figure it out. Maybe. <laughs> it, it just sounds like a normal run. Battle axe. Yo, that's a that's a good card. Sorry, uh, equipment. Attack? I forget what it is now. We're the jester, but it's it's an equipment. Um we want a four and a six. We want a four and a six. We want a four and a six. Well, it's as good as it gets, so. It moved to the left. I guess we are the jester, so it moving to the left makes sense. We also have fury, which is interesting. If the sword moves to the left. Oh, we can only have three equipment but things shuffle to the left. Is that what it is? Sneezy, huh? Yeah, so you get random equipment, but you can only have three at a time, and then it'll shuffle left. That's what it looks like, because we still have a deck. We don't have a backpack, we have a deck. A deck. So I'm kind of curious to see what's, how this is gonna work. <laughs> All right, we're definitely gonna Fury if we roll a four. But we're definitely gonna Fury if we roll a six as well. Maybe we'll change characters every floor or something. No, because it said a straightforward challenge for a straightforward warrior, but you are a jester, so uh, dot, dot, dot. It's a warrior run, but you're a jester. So you have the jester rules of cards instead of equipment, which is interesting. I understand the wordplay. So I think, ooh, yeah, we'll fight. Let's fight Baby Squid first, and then we'll fight Sticky Hands when we have uh, more damage. Actually, we have damage potential. We can kick the crap out of Sticky Hands. Yeah. Get ready. Yeah. Fucking hate this guy. Sword. <laughs> Who does he think he is, sticky hands? Yeah, we have the damage out, but we can kill him as long as he doesn't roll four sixes. Okay. I mean, he's rolling pretty well, <laughs> but he's dead. Okay. Boomerang, Spiked Shield. I don't like the Boomerang. Upgrade it, it does three damage to me, which means it can do 12 damage to the enemy. You know, that is good if you can get it upgraded, but we can't get it upgraded for a while. Do three damage to yourself and 12 damage to the enemy. 
I'd much rather have status effects and things. Like, I, I still think I'd like Spiked Shield more. And a bump. Sure, take a bump. Worst case scenario, we can turn a six into a, a extra dice, which actually feels like it's pretty good. But we didn't get it on this turn. So give me a... Sp give me a Spike Shield. Give me a bump. Yeah, so we're, like the equipment is filtering in a little bit. And then I'm re-rolling to try to get something that's better than a two. We didn't, but that's okay. Hmm. Blind one dice. That's okay. That's okay because this is like the nearly perfect value. And then we'll just get something. It's a six! <laughs> Oh, uh, I wonder what the dice gave me. Uh, could be frickin' anything. Who knows? It's a block. Still good. I'm sorry, squid. I'm curious how you would upgrade the battle axe, though, because when you upgrade the battle axe, it becomes smaller. Destroy a card. No, I don't I don't want to destroy a card. I like what we have right now. Like we we kind of need everything that we have. We could replace the sword with something better, but I I don't want to go into the next combat with one attack, you know? <laughs> like I want to see what the battle axe upgrades to because we can't normally upgrade it, but now we can. That's really good. The extra dice isn't that helpful, but it does mean that we can hold on to a, a value and then roll another dice to see if we can get a better value. Bum, 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 bum. Five damage, burn two dice. It's not that bad. We might even want a Fury. You know, I will Fury. Actually, can we kill you? Ten, four, we need another die now. We can kill you if we do this. I Maybe mean, we shouldn't have even played the uh, the burning die there. May not have been worth it, but too late. <laughs> so, doesn't get better than a six, but we should bump to get the extra dice. I do like having the extra dice, because again, it means you can roll and then hold a value if you want to see if you can get a better value with the extra dice. And once we get more equipment as well, oh my god. Once we get more equipment, uh, that's going to be a little bit more important because then the extra dice can be used in the extra equipment. Right now we have three dice. As the warrior, you go from two to three to four to five, so I'm expecting to get to five at some point. Pretty bad rolls, but just do it like this. You know what? We should have uh, bumped the three into Battle Axe for one more damage. I hate that you're sucking up my HP, though. <laughs> so give me a new dice. Start rerolling this one. Yeah, I, I will Fury. We probably don't need to because I think he was dead anyways and we were healing up to full, but just do it to get it done. Then let's take a look at the upgrades. Battle Axe max 5, so it's plus 2 damage at best. Bump can be used twice. Spike Shield can take a 6. Sword gets plus 1 damage. Those are really boring upgrades. Um, oh dude, Broadsword. Broadsword, upgrade it, destroy the sword. All of a sudden, we get a lot of extra value from the broadsword. Spatula, flip a dice upside down. I'm gonna say no. Yeah, I, I really like the broadsword. And then we can upgrade it to do, I mean, just a lot of damage. And then I'm also thinking about getting rid of the regular sword, so we can maybe get something better in that slot. But do I want to spend 
three gold destroying the sword. I don't want spatula. I could turn a one into a six, but I could also just re-roll a six. But I could turn a two into a five, and a three into a four, and a one into a six. You know? I'm gonna take the spatula. You get the dice back, so it's not like it thickens the deck that much. Because if you put a dice into it, you just get the you get the dice out. It's like right now, I could turn a two into a five. Then you play the five, then you play the six, then you play the f four, then you re-roll for sword. That's not too bad. <laughs> That's actually not too bad. I think I'm just gonna bump to Battle Axe. Because we have a one, and the one will turn into a six. And then, you can just six, and you're dead. Yeah, Spatula actually does make sense. You don't know what's coming up, but if you plan around it, it can work. So Battle Axe, Broadsword, Bump, Spatula, Spike, Shield, Sword. I'm still tempted to get rid of Sword to get something better in the future, but it's hard to do that. I mean, Midnight Charm is also interesting to get sixes, but you have to have two dice to have it activate. You have to be able to roll two sixes in the first place. Like, there's a, like, I'm thinking shovel, I'm thinking, there's a lot of equipment that's better than sword. Dude, I'm, I'm just gonna do it. It, it. Let's be weird with it. Because, like, we can't just pull equipment out like we would with the warrior, but normally at this point in the game, we would have done that. We would have pulled the, the sword out to get something better in its place. Now, it means we have one less attack on the fight right now, but... That's only until we, uh... Okay. That's only until we, uh... Get more equipment, which we can probably do immediately after this fight. So this will turn into a five. That's still pretty good. Ah, maybe we should have kept the sword. I, I, I just want a new piece of equipment that I can replace it with right now. I have no idea what you did, <laughs> but you have life crystal. Battle axe, broadsword. Let's uh, turn a one into a six, and then gain some block. Upgrading midnight charm only needs five to roll, two sixes. That is a very good point. And I guess if we had done that and upgraded it, we could have kept the sword and then made it easier to roll two sixes to use on equipment. But if Midnight Charm is like your last um, card, you get no value from it, which is difficult to, to get behind. But it would have probably been interesting. Battle Axe. Kinda hate it. There we go. Re-equip one, so we could have used an equipment twice. Ah. I didn't get a chance to really see it before he did his attack and then his turn was over. Broadsword for hammer. I want hammer, but I don't want to get rid of broadsword for it. You know, if we had kept the sword, maybe we could have traded it. Mmm, now I'm thinking. Yeah, keep the equipment and then you can just trade it away or get rid of it later or find ways to get more dice back. Okay, you know. Now I'm thinking. You do do physical damage. I don't know why I did that, but whatever. 
Okay, we, we are gonna get equipment after this fight, though, which will make up for not having the sword. The sword. Like that. You like this. You like this. Good value. That's a good turn. Now we are cursed. Okay. <laughs> you know, sometimes that happens. Okay, what's the equipment? Whip. There, it's a better sword. This is kind of exactly what I was hoping for. Something that is just kind of straight up better than what we had previously. So now I feel a little smart, but technically if we had the sword, we could bump a six and then get an extra dice and then do more damage, but whatever. Flip a one into a six, we know we're gonna want it. You know, we should not have done that because we want a six for the burn. Odd. Wow. Good roll, my friend. You weaken four pieces of equipment. I hate it. Okay, whip is just do damage. Broadsword is max three plus two. Okay, so three. You're dead. You know what? The next piece of equipment did not get weakened. Good to know. Shield bash or upgrade? No. <laughs> you go for upgrade, I think. And, uh, spatula can be used like three times in a turn. Whip burns an extra dice. Battle axe taking a five. That, I mean, it's pretty good. Um, my gopher bump. Sixes are pretty valuable. Being able to get two sixes could mean that the whip and maybe another piece of equipment could be better. Shield Bash can suck an egg. Shield Bash is so bad until it's upgraded, and it's still not great when it's upgraded. So we want to double whip. Actually, the double broadsword is more damage. So then we'll whip. Want a three, a four, or a five. Wow, pretty bad, um, but we can still battle axe and gain three block. You're gonna do a lot of burn, huh? That's okay. Honestly, I was against spatula, but it is surprisingly effective. I mean, honestly, because of battle axe and spiked shield, a one, two, or three is a four, five, or a six, you know? So it's actually kind of useful. Like right now, you know, spike shield, that's a five. Spatula, well that's a six. Broadsword, it doesn't matter what you put into it. All we're looking for is something better for battle axe right now. Like it's, it's surprisingly useful. More useful than I thought it would be. And because we're the Jester, we can shove particular equipment into our deck and then get it eventually. You know, the big problem with the Warrior and the Thief and everyone else is you have limited equipment. The Jester can have unlimited equipment, technically. It's pretty interesting. He's the only character who can do that. Counterspell. If the enemy rolls blank, that dice is locked. If we have extra dice, that's not that bad, but if we take it, we'll take it at the end. Upgrade a card. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Lightning rod needs doubles. Nah. Upgrade. And give me the... Probably upgraded battle axe. Nice! Wasted my fucking money! God damn it, I hate the UI in this game! I just... I wasted my money because if you pay for it, you have to take it or leave it. Oh, god damn it. It's okay. I think we'll be fine, honestly, because this is a pretty strong run. Turn this into a four. Do damage. Do damage. Reroll. Give me a bump reroll. That way we can 
Why would we need to keep the six? <laughs> That's super done. I hate that. Yeah, it's uh, it's annoying because it's just a, a weird UI thing, really. That's annoying. That's what I'm looking for, because we can get our dice back. Oh, you know what? She's also vulnerable to fire. That's why she died. I was wondering why we killed her so quickly. So, we could upgrade a card if we, you know, feel like uh, getting it for free. Which we probably do. I don't think I care about Counterspell. Let's just, uh... I mean, the whip is two extra damage and the battle axe is two extra damage, but the battle axe is e easier to activate. The whip still requires a six. Let's upgrade the battle axe. We do so much damage that I think that that's still helpful and uh, we'll fight. It doesn't matter who we fight first, I, I suppose. Fight Cornelius. Yeah, the opposite sides of dice are always seven. So six and one, two and five, three and four. Whip. Broadsword. Four. Here, we want a five. For ten damage. Yeah, if we do thirty, if we do uh, twenty-nine damage a turn, I think we're set. So, Battle Axe requires a five. Spatula. Spike shield, we want a four, so spatula can do that. Whip is a six. Broadsword, we looking for a four, five, or six. There you go. We got maximum damage out on that turn. We will want A4 for Spike Shield. We we'll want a 5 for the Battle Axe. We want a 6 for the Whip. And then the remainder in Broadsword. Cornelius is always a nice freebie. Yeah, I don't know, like, what deck you could build that doesn't attack quickly enough to kill Cornelius, but, uh, you gotta be freaking careful if that happens, because Cornelius would murder you if you have a slow deck. Like, if you rely on thorns and the enemy to attack you. Alright, Kraken. We will get an extra dice after this, by the way. We might want to buy extra equipment, just so we have something else to do with the extra dice, but, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Just give me the, just give me the bump. Battle axe, give me a bump. And honestly, do some damage. We're gonna heal after this combat, let's kill you quickly. You only rolled one even, which is lovely. You can run away if it looks like he's gonna win, can't you? That's a good point. I don't know if the runaway is guaranteed or not, but if you could just run away, you could just run away. Turn this into a four. Play a six. We only need to do two damage. One. <laughs> and then the other one. Extra dice. Okay, so should we add something? We could add a counter spell to dump a dice into it. We could add lightning rod, but I don't think we need to. I tell you what, I'm gonna add counter spell. It's just a little something extra. As long as we're not fighting a uh, Sasquatch lady, <laughs> then we can get value out of the lock. And uh, we have an extra dice anyways. We'll just dump it into locking and then hopefully get value from it. 
Hey, you there, believe in yourself. You can do it, you can win. Maybe not today, because I'm going to do my very best to beat you, but one day. Oh, She's being very nice about the fact that she's going to die, die, die. I'm going to bump the six so I have an extra dice. Four is worth keeping. Five is worth keeping. Four. I would like... I'd like some block. I would like to prevent you from rolling high evens. So I'm gonna lock a four. We'll turn a two into a five. So we can put this here. And we'll do as much damage as we can with the broadsword. And we still ended up with an extra dice. So I think this is a decent amount of equipment to have. And because we, we duplicated a dice in order to get an extra piece of dice. So that was a four. Max two, min four to flip, so we can only go high to low. Counterspell max three. Like the counterspell a two. We'll battle axe the two. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just had a cough. I'm trying to think of what I want to do here. Like, we have whip coming up, right? Well, if we have whip coming up, why don't we bump? And we still got full value out of everything, I think. We got no lock, but that's okay. He did another one damage. I think we're gonna get out of the fight taking two damage. <laughs> Maybe not, but you never know. Okay. Bump max three. Give me a whip. We don't need this many sixes. A five is good. Six for broadsword, six for counter. Two turns into a five, min four, right? I forgot about that. Well, back door two. Turn a two into a five. Yeah, dude, I, if anything, this has taught me to appreciate spatula for turning a one, two, or three into a four, five, or six, which is just really good value, especially in the Jester where you uh, have basically unlimited equipment if you play the equipment. You know the drill, well done, blah, 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 I've spun the wheel. But oh look, it seems you didn't win your heart's desire this time, what a shock. I didn't read her uh, first bit of intro dialogue, I should have. Um, but there you go, Jester. What was it? Not just a Jester. Complete. Losers Weepers will be next. That was, that was pretty fun. It, it's interesting to play the warrior with unlimited equipment, you just need more dice. And that, that way, spatula bump to give your extra dice is a very useful thing to have. Bump is nice to turn a five into a six for, you know, activating the powerful abilities from certain equipment, but getting basically infinite equipment, being able to play it, is is kind of cool. I don't think we needed to destroy the sword, because many t turns we were ending with extra dice, and if you bump a six, you get extra dice anyways, but, you know, at least we got the whip to counteract the fact that we removed it, but I probably should have saved it. In any case, fun run. For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live, support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Dicey Dungeons.